or the serious gamer. Hello, my friends out there in the land of the internet. This is Spider Bite Search and Destroy Rush Series NextGenTactics.com. Quarry offense. This is my class and kill streak setup. If I'm not using it, come on, guys. If I'm not Search using it exactly, I mean, I'm just you know, I just prestige or I'm messing around. Don't send me questions. Hey, you show FMJ, but you got a tactical knife. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit different, but that's a typical class. So this is sort of the B rush. Um, the reason why I stand here, and I've gotten uh, quite a few knife kills from guys that are rushing on uh, defense right at that point. And if you watch my defensive video, I actually do that rush where I come up there. Um, nowadays, I'm typically throwing a stun grenade before I get near there, and I'm throwing a stun grenade at the area where the barrels are, and we'll show you that in a, in a subsequent round. Um, so they came, they were sort of rushing in through that uh, the ramp where I killed that first guy, so we wanted to hang out a little bit, just make sure that we didn't have any rushers coming into our spawn. And uh, we had a couple guys up there with the bomb, so we weren't too worried about, uh, about that part. So now we're coming back down on B side, and again, you don't want to go all hog wild. Uh, there was another guy with us there, and, and we actually managed, because we didn't just rush over to the, to the target. I mean, if the two guys that were at the target all of a sudden got killed, okay, yes. But, you know, considering you had, even if you had one guy, I'd probably get over there a lot more quickly. Uh, just because if he dies quickly, you're going to have a, a hard time getting over to the Good to job, the target to, um, the to help uh, prevent the defuse. But as it was, we had two guys over there, and um, so we took a bit of uh, a bit of time, and we caught a guy coming down that ramp. So this is an A-side rush, and I'll go this rush the majority of the time, and lots of the time you won't you won't see a soul. Uh, you might see some guys that I'll stick at the back, um, behind the building at A on the left side. I don't know. I guess it's an okay spot. We got two guys with 1887s. <laughs> this is before the patch. Um, and I took care of both of them pretty easily, so I don't know what everybody was complaining about. Anyways, so now we're defending the plant. And no, there is no plant like in Karachi where we're actually standing behind the plant and we're saying we're now we're defending the plant. Ha ha ha. Uh, so we got the guy on the ground floor. We're going to go up top here because uh, a lot of times he'll come up uh, on this ramp from B. And that's why we were there. Okay, here's another B-side rush. And again, um, nowadays I actually threw two stuns into the red barrels. And your stuns will blow up those red barrels. But nowadays, I didn't actually even, I didn't catch anybody. Got a quick knife there. But nowadays, like I said, I will throw a stun uh, just into the area that we ran down and and then the second stun to the red barrels. Now, the reason why we didn't go up there, there was a claymore um, and the guy saw us. So we're not going to take our time to try and shoot at the claymore or even try and run past it because we might get killed. Even with Marathon and Lightweight on, we might get killed. Um, oh, the guy just went by us there. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I don't even know what I was saying. We are planting, and our teammate's way over, and he just got killed, or whatever. And I do like the spot under the stairs, and we know there's only one guy left. We have radar, he's probably, I, I mean, I don't know why he called in this care package. Um, you know, I guess he was hoping to get a UAV. But he obviously doesn't. I mean, that's the only thing you could really hope for, especially at A. I mean, there's nothing else that's going to help him. Even if you got a predator, I mean, he's not killing me here in this spot, and I'll see it coming. I'll just go in the back corner. So, anyways, uh, he's coming. He doesn't really have much time, and uh, we take him out on the bomb defense. Sweet. Okay, this is sort of uh, another B side half rush. Um. I guess sort of middle B side, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know, it's not quite B side. Um, so you can do this. I, I don't do it that often. I do like the B side rush. Uh, the B or A. Um, the middle, yeah, I, I'm not too keen on, but you know, I'm just showing it for a little bit of variety. Some of our uh, rush series tutorials don't have that much variety, depending on the map. So the bomb is planted at B, uh, it's 6 on whatever, we still have a full team. 
So we're gonna wait it out out here a little bit because we have a, at least one guy in there, but he just got killed. And we catch the guy hanging out of the door, and we knife this guy. And we're not gonna use a predator. We'll save it for a subsequent round because we still have five guys. And we'll sit by the target. Seeing as our other teammates are outside, we want to sort of be close to the target. Just a lot of times, um, you will get guys that sneak in and defuse, and you definitely want to prevent that. So there's another beast side half rush. So again, we're um, you know, like I said, I throw a stun right into that area, um, just to my left, and and sometimes I will sit here, and um, I have caught guys coming by with uh, a quick knife. So our teammate got killed. We throw the stuns to try and pop the red barrels. We don't get we don't get a kill. But quite often, if there's a guy up there, I'd say they rush up there maybe 60% of the time. And probably about 60% of the time you can get a kill throwing your stun grenades up there. Um, I just want to say one thing. I just got to freaking respond to a stupid comment on a video. That, hey, look, uh, there are guys on the enemy team that have the same clan tag, so uh, this video is a fake. You know what? Fuck you, buddy. Okay, number one... People can just change their clan tags. A lot of times if we go into games and as a full team with their clan tag, uh, guys on the enemy team will just change their clan tags. Oh yeah, that must mean we're fucking fake, doesn't it? Uh, the other thing is, yes, a lot of times because you can join sessions, guys will join sessions from our clan if we're full or you know we just happen to not have them in a party at the time. And if they're on the opposite team, you know what? We go just as damn hard to kill them. I'm not fucking setting up anything. You watch our other videos, okay? You think it were fake bullshit, man. And people said, oh yeah, the Joker video's fake, the knife only kills fake. Fuck you guys, because it's not, it's, you know, we take real gameplay. It, nothing, Nothing's fake, okay? We haven't set up anything. So, you know, whatever. And I hate responding to haters, but you know what? We're getting hate on so much. And I don't know why people try to prove you're a fake. Like, oh yeah, look at this, it must be fake. Why, why are people doing that? Why do you do that? You just troll videos to say... You know, to try and find little things that you, you think in your mind proves that a video is fake because somebody has the same clan tag. Fuck. Anyways, sorry about that. That was my little A's blow up. Clear. Okay, A's clear. We got uh, well, two at least two guys over there. One with the bomb. And um, <clears throat> I do like this little spot here, just because I can see our, um, you know, the entrances into B. I can smoke anybody that's going to go up to A. But uh, like I said, we still have two teammates over there, and that's why we're not over there. If it was only the one guy with the bomb, uh, we would have made our way over there long before now. <clears throat> and if any of them were to get killed, if either one of them were to get killed, uh, we'd get over there right away. But uh, I do like this spot because a lot of guys are up at our spawn, and a lot of times they will make their way through B in order to get to A. So here's an A-side rush. Um, and... Like I said, you just saw that guy on the left-hand side. That's why we sort of dodged in here. And I think he's hiding out back. Either that or he snuck back in here. Okay, he probably snuck back into there. Uh, Claymore and, you know, get rid of the Claymores. Anytime you see a Claymore, if at all possible, and, and it doesn't put you in a, in a, in a bad situation, take it out. Um, you know, if you know there's a guy right around the position you're at, uh, and you see a claymore, I mean, okay, maybe leave it, but, you know, if you know you're you're pretty safe to take out the claymore, you want to take it out because uh, your teammates may not see it before uh, eating it. And, yes, look, there's a guy in our team, and I killed him, yes, and he is part of our clan, and it is not fake, I'm sorry, but whatever. I mean, yeah, I'm going to set up that one kill, that's, anyways. Okay, here's a B-side rush, I throw the stun, and that's where we catch them. And that's what happens a lot of the time. You end up blowing the barrels and you get kills uh, that way. There's a guy camping here. Not Probably not the best spot considering there are, uh, there's at least one other easy way in to be. And um, yeah, so that's our uh, quarry offense. Hope you liked it. Sorry about the, uh, the little blow up there, but you know, I don't know. We've been getting a lot of comments about how fake our shit is. And you know what? We put out serious stuff. We don't fake anything. We don't glitch. We don't cheat. Whatever. So... Take it as it is. I mean, we're still going to keep getting comments like that. But uh, you know what? I don't really care anymore, aside from my rant in this video. And I think I'm done. Okay? Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, for more strategies and tactics, yeah, strategies and tactics, I'm talking too much, visit www.nextgentactics.com. I'm Spiderbite, and uh, that's it. I'm out.
See you later.